going on everyone? My name is Zachary Ford. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're having an awesome and blessed day today and better off for watching this video. In today's video, I'll share with you three tips to stay organized and get back on track with your schooling for students and in general in life. I hope you enjoy. Before we start, make sure you guys smash that like button, turn on this post notification, drop a comment below if you haven't already, subscribe. So subscribe, turn on post notifications, like this video, drop a comment below. Alright, anyways guys, let's get to it. So if I haven't already explained, my name is Zachary Ford, and in today's video I'll share with you three tips to reorganize your life. In life, have you guys ever felt like you've been productive and consistent with things in your life, and then all of a sudden you make one mistake or you're inconsistent with a habit or something of that nature, and then you fall into a rabbit hole of other incorrect and negative actions that lead you down this road or this path that doesn't serve you well in the long term? This is you, and you said yes to this question, and I'm sure all of you deep inside have said yes and have experienced this, so if anyone's saying no, then... I'm sure at some point you felt this way. So anyways, in today's video, I'll share with you guys three tips and a bonus tip at the end to overcome this and not necessarily overcome it, but to help, to help move it along, to help change it, to help make you better and help progress your goals forward and things of that nature. So yeah, let's get to it. First nugget I'll be sharing with you guys in today's video is just starting, just taking action, moving forward, making that first step. And right, making those baby steps, making that one little baby step. And I've heard in past videos that I've watched before and topics related to this is just taking that one action and making that one action be the easiest action that you could start with and then start progressing forward from there. And then soon you'll start being productive for the day and that'll be helping you out. But anyways, just starting, just taking action, like I was saying, making that first move, making those baby steps, making that little progress. And sometimes I like to make a list of everything I need to do and then breaking each of those little tasks down into little subcategories or things like that. Whatever things I need to get done and organizing that, saving whatever files I need to, getting all that done. And I like to do this in Google To Do or Microsoft To Do, I think it is. Let me know down in the comments what it is. Oof. But anyways, guys, I just create a system where I stay can where I organize all my stuff, save all my files, etc. And then I go ahead and list. I, I've heard putting things into a calendar is important too. So planning out each of your assignments, and if it's if you don't plan out each of your assignments, you know, block by block of time, I say to schedule a whole period, and then just take your most important tasks or assignments for the day and put those first and if you don't get any other assignments or tasks that are important for your day done at least got your top two or three most important ones done so let's move on to the next tip all right guys so for our second tip what i'm going to be sharing with you guys is going to be really helpful and this is not simply just related uh, to within school and within that student category of productivity and things along those lines uh, but what the next tip I'm going to be sharing with you tip two is going to help you guys not just in school but beyond life and in general which will help you build your self-esteem and your self-confidence and all of that so yeah so if you guys want to know what this second nugget is make sure you guys drop a comment down below not a comment a like go drop a, com a like down below excuse me oof this will be in the bloopers in the end but guys i'll be back all right guys i think i'm better now so this second tip i'll be sharing with you guys is Having a goal that goes beyond what your initial school is, so just a goal in life or a vision you're working towards and goals or a vision or dreams, anything that you want to achieve in your life or accomplish, I suggest that you have generally what that is. It may not be clear right now, whether you're a young 14 year old or you're an older woman or whatever your age is. I just want to share with you guys that having a bigger goal beyond what you have for school 
is going to really help you organize on your, not only uh, your time but also your activities and will also motivate you to get your schooling done so that you can feel confident and good within that so that you can take the rest of your time to build up your dream and things along that on the side. So, so I know school is not for everyone personally for me I'm not going to go to college or things like that but that's going to be for another video so stay tuned for that. So co comment and make sure you subscribe. Check out this playlist above here or here wherever it's located. There's a little card up there that will lead uh, that will link you to um, uh, my rest of my videos. So yeah. So like I was saying, just having a goal, no matter your age, no matter your where your circumstances, just having that goal, having that bigger thing. So now I'm rambling. So if you have any more questions or comments about that, leave them in the comment section below. All right, running out of time here because we have to go to our mom's house soon. So. My third tip, I'm, I have just staying consistent with with your schooling and with your activities and everything I was doing. Like I said in the last one, just having an organized system and maybe putting things in a calendar and things along those lines will really, really help you out. But also just also just focusing yourself in an environment that, that helps you focus and stay productive. And since we're all at home doing school and work, obviously that's not going to work for everyone. So just try to find a quiet place and if you have to share a room with your siblings or they're all doing meetings at the same time I just suggest that you like maybe put on some headphones maybe listen to like some focus music or calm music that will help you focus in class or maybe don't do that um, but I highly suggest that you um, don't listen to lyrical music but calm music and if you don't want to do that don't listen to any music at all so yeah I just engaging with the conversation and helping you out maybe listing things in the comments below if you're using if you're on online school and you're doing either zoom or or microsoft teams whatever you guys use engaging with the chat engaging with the class staying fully present and focused and if you want to listen to some, some music or vibe out and chill as well i guess you can do that but i highly suggest that you just stay consistent and focused so all right thank you all right guys we're at our mom's house right now and it's nighttime so i've got to be quiet and right now I'm wearing Grinch pajamas and they're really soft and comfy. So I forgot to share the nugget, final nugget with you guys. So I'm going to share that with you right now. So that is just loving yourself whenever you take breaks or whenever you fall short of productivity and staying consistent with your assignments and your activities and goals that you want to accomplish. So forgive yourself for not taking this action and letting yourself have time to focus on yourself and have fun with the other activities that you're doing that are aim aimlessly letting you not focus on your main tasks such as scrolling through social media or anything along those lines so thank you guys for that yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and if you did Make sure, again, you leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, as well as drop a comment below, and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see, if you guys are liking what we're doing so far. We're slowly growing, slowly moving forward, so I just want to thank you guys for all of the support and everything so far. And let me know, guys, this is lighting work, because the lighting in some of my past videos has not been great. Anyways, like I said, I gotta get going to our mom's house right now. It's 5.27 p.m on friday the 13th of november so i know you guys don't really care about that but let's get on with it all right have a great rest of your day i love you guys god bless you're amazing you're incredible keep on chasing your dreams and not just keep chasing them not just keep thinking about them but take action on them in small ways hi everyone adios another video everyone my name is Zachary Ford and if you're new here I hope you're having a great I am. welcome back to another video everyone I hope hey guys we're at our mom's house right now and I'm wearing a Grinch costume my Grinch costume